Hello again everybody out there and there's maybe one or two of you that actually watch this thing. It is Saturday, April 4th, 2020. We've got a lot of stuff happening. We're all trapped at home or someplace close to that. I'm Tom from Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, 724 Cleveland Avenue Southwest, on the fringes of beautiful downtown Canton. Again, we're not open for business, but I'm still in here doing stuff, sorting and filing and finding things. Uh, this is cool. I found this while I was cleaning. Now I have a mask to use when I go out. The official Iron Man mask from uh, when they were promoting Iron Man number one back in, I don't know, it doesn't have a date on it. But in any case, I just got elastic and everything. So I, I now have a, a mask that I can go out and, and, you know, move amongst the people. Uh, okay, we're going to start off by taking another link off. Uh, we got 26 days left until May 1st when we will hopefully uh, be out from under the stay-at-home order that uh, has been imposed on us for our own good. And I, I, I understand why it's being done and I, I support it. Uh, let's start off today with some good news because good news is in short supply these days. A lot of you may know uh, Joyce Garner. Uh, she's my good friend who helps out here whenever I have uh, one of the Free Comic Book Day events or a Halloween Comic Fest. Uh, she's a lady who always makes the meatballs and a lot of the cookies and you all go up and you talk nice to her so you give, she'll give you the meatballs early. <clears throat> Sorry, early. Um, any case, uh, her son Thomas, also known as Denny Gardner, um, has been uh, having some problems. His kidneys were in failure. Well, yesterday uh, he got his kidney transplant and he came through it great. And uh, he's that's just the best news that any of us has heard in a while. So, congratulations, uh, Thomas Denny, uh, and congratulations, Joyce. I know this is a weight off your mind. Uh, moving on, uh, let's see. Um, you know, here's the thing. I, I'm trying to post these every day to keep you guys, I don't, it, maybe it helps keep your spirits up. Who knows? But I'm just trying to do what I can. Um, if you are watching these and if you are enjoying them, I post them on my website, on Facebook, and obviously to YouTube, which is the link that gets you uh, from Facebook and my website. Um, if you're enjoying them, please share them on Facebook with your friends. Uh, hit the like button on the YouTube site. Uh, subscribe to us. Uh, I'd like to see these things actually get out there. Um, I don't know why, because when all is said and done, there's probably going to be mobs coming here to burn the place down after some of the stuff I've said and done. But what the heck? Uh, if you want to contact us, uh, send uh, you know your comments, any questions you have, uh, or any anything that you would like to see me do, other than stop making these, because I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can contact us via phone, because I'll come in and check the messages. Uh, three three zero four five six eight nine zero seven is the phone number here at the shop. Uh, you can send us letters. We're still getting mail. Uh, Seven twenty four Cleveland Avenue Southwest. Canton, Ohio, 44702. Um, you can email us at comics5 at yahoo.com. You can message me through Facebook. Any way you want to get a hold of us, do it. Have some fun with us, because I'm trying to have some fun here. Okay, you know what we're going to do, because here's where I'm going to tell you, you got to take care of yourselves. Make sure you keep taking your meds. Make sure you're eating relatively healthily. Uh, make sure you're staying hydrated and make sure you're doing the things you need to do. But as we talked about yesterday, we got a, a, a job jar and extra things you should do and we're picking three a day. So let's get in here and see what we got. Okay, our first one is make a list. You know, I love making lists, but that's probably because I made a retentive. But in any case, 
Make a list, folks, of something. Your favorite movies, your favorite comic books, your favorite card sets, your favorite comic book dealer. Uh, okay, the second one is learn a new skill. Yeah, learn to, I don't know, make a birdhouse or play a violin or any musical instrument. Uh, play an organ. No, wait, that's different. And, oh, and see, this is what we were talking about a minute ago. Eat something healthy. You know, get a hold of an apple or a pear or, or something, anything. Eat something healthy. Okay, those are your three, three things that you should try to do today along with everything else you do. Okay, we're going to close this off with a story today. We're not going to do any crafty stuff. We're not going to, we're going to tell a story. And, you know, it's Saturday. And a lot of people in the before time used to like to go out and what they call tie one on. They'd go to their favorite watering hole and they would drink to excess. So this is about one of those fellers. He's in a bar. He is just drinking. Him and his buddies are having a great time. And all of a sudden, he drinks a little too much and he just throws up all over himself. And I think... Most of us have been there at some point in our life. So he's there, and he's just covered, and he, he says to himself, Oh, oh, I, I, I'm in trouble. I, I, I just threw up on myself. And, and when, I, when, when I go home, my, my wife is, 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 is she going to yell at me. And he goes, No, no, I, I, can, I can fix this. If really, you, you, you got a cleaning department in you? you no, no, no. If you, you, you got ten bucks? Said, yeah, I do. And he pulls out a tenner. And he goes, okay, here, here's what you do. You take the ten. And, and you fold it up. And you, you put it in your pocket. And, and then when you go home and, and your, your wife is yelling at you, you say, I, I did not throw up on myself. Somebody else threw up on me, and, and, and he gave me $10 to have the shirt clean. And his buddy goes, that's brilliant! So he stays a little while longer, and finally he goes home. And he goes in, and his wife is right there waiting for him. She goes, what? Here you are, you've been out all night. You'd rather be out than here home with me, and you're coming home, and as I figured, you're drunk. And, oh my God, look at you. You threw up on yourself. No, I, 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 I did not throw up on me. Somebody else did, and he, and he gave me uh, $10 in my pocket to have my shirt cleaned. And she reaches in and she pulls out the money. She goes, there's $20 here. He goes, oh, that's right. He, he also shit my pants. All right. Stay safe out there, folks. We're all in this together. We can get through this. I promise you. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.